Um, today's video, I'm going to be comparing these two air compressors. So I've had this uh, Craftsman 5 horsepower 20 gallon compressor for about 10 years. I bought it used. Uh, it was actually in the garage of my previous house. Uh, they had a big auction there uh, before we bought the house and my mom actually bought that for me as a birthday gift. So uh, I've used this for a lot of years. Uh, it's been a great compressor. The actual compressor on it is super loud. Um, when it kicks on and runs, you can hear it on the other side of the house. Super loud, and I'm not a huge fan of the uh, horizontal tank, the laydown tank. It's just got a much larger footprint than I'd like. Um, this is a compressor that a friend gave me. Uh, it had an issue, it wouldn't build pressure. He was moving, he didn't want to move it and have to deal with it. So he gave it to me, um, I did a video, I'll put it up here, um, on, on how I fixed this. I really, really like this compressor. Um, it's much quieter. Uh, it is a single stage, um, but it's twin cylinder. Um, it says it's a 1.6 horsepower. I really like this, uh, one, because it's the vertical tank. It's a little larger tank, it's a 30 gallon. Uh, my only concern, I'm, I'm debating on which one I wanna keep. So the motor on this Craftsman is wired for 220 volts AC. Uh, this is wired for 110 volts. I can rewire this motor for my 220 outlet, but it's not really gonna change a whole lot as far as output. Uh, the big thing on air compressors is your SCFM. The Craftsman over here is advertised as 9.3 SCFM at 90 PSI. Uh, this Cobalt is 5.3 SCFM at 90 PSI. So that one, by the numbers, should be twice as fast. I don't know that I ever do enough with a compressor that I need the extra SCFM of that one, and it is much louder, so I'm debating getting rid of that one. But I'm going to do a little face-off. I, I can't quite grasp this air delivery number of the SCFM. Um, it doesn't quite make sense to me. So I'm gonna do a little test between these two. Uh, I've drained both of these tanks completely empty. Um, I'm going to fire this one up, run it up to whatever its shut off pressure is. I think it's a, a little over 120, maybe 130 PSI. And then I'm gonna run this one and time it and just see if that one fills the tank about twice as fast as this one. Now it is a little bit smaller tank than this one. So I'll just kind of time it out and see what happens. Okay, so here we go. This is the Craftsman, uh, zero PSI, pulling my safety release valve, uh, nothing in there. So I'm gonna flip it on and we'll time it. All right, so I'll have a timer running up there so you know how long that took. And it kicked off at 140 PSI. So let's go over to the Cobalt. All right, here we are with the Cobalt. Let's start it up. I can see zero pressure. And here we go. Wow, so it's glaringly obvious which one is faster. So it's pretty obvious which one is the overall winner. Granted, this one is quieter, um, but not by that much. But that one is way faster at filling a 20 gallon tank. Uh, that same compressor filling a 30 gallon tank would obviously take just a wee bit longer, but while it doesn't have the form factor that I like with the vertical tank, um, I think I'm going to stick with that one. So, um, and before anyone asks, I have considered just swapping that compressor pump and motor onto this tank. Uh, the base plate where the compressor mounts on this is just far too narrow for that one. I would have to add um, another plate of steel that comes out almost to the end of the blue handle here just to get that one to fit on here. So, uh, not really an option. Um, I have been looking around for like a 60 or 80 gallon uh, tank that just has a bad compressor pump on it. 
Um, no luck so far. So, but I'll probably keep searching for just a used tank and swap that compressor onto it if, if necessary. So, hope you like this one. Uh, I hope it shows the, the huge difference in, in what a higher SCFM rating makes as far as getting your tank filled up. If you like what I do, give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit that subscribe button down there. Leave me a comment. Um, what, what size compressor do you have for your shop and what kind of work do you do? Um, are you doing painting, uh, media blasting, um, just basic air tools uh, for woodworking or air tools for mechanic working? Um, I do a little bit of everything. And so I think that's going to be better suited long term. Until next time, thanks. See you later.